the dessert spoon and dessert fork. The next set of cutlery items we're looking at is the dessert fork and dessert spoon. Their appearance and purpose, their placement on the setting, and the correct replacement cutlery if you don't have one or both of them. Firstly, appearance and purpose. The dessert spoon is larger than a teaspoon with an oval shaped bowl. The spoon can be used for scooping bites of delicious soft desserts as well as slicing through harder parts such as biscuits or pastry. The dessert fork serves a similar purpose. The fork is used for piercing and eating and the side of the fork can also be used to cut through cakes, tarts or desserts with harder pastry or biscuit layers. Next comes placement. Now that you know what the dessert spoon and fork are used for, where do you think they will be placed on the setting? Grab your pen and paper and write down what you think. You can also draw a rough picture. If your description or picture looks like this, you're wrong. But if you thought the dessert fork will be placed on the left hand side and the dessert spoon on the right hand side, you're right. This is because the fork is often used to hold the dessert, while the side of the spoon is used for cutting, similar to pairing a knife and fork. When setting the table for many courses, the dessert cutlery is sometimes set on top of the setting, with the fork's handle facing left and the spoon's handle facing right. By placing them in this way, they are out of the way of other cutlery used earlier in the dining experience. If this is where you place your dessert spoon and fork, be sure to pull down these pieces of cutlery to their correct positions before the dessert arrives. This means that the fork will be on the left hand side, as usual, and the spoon, used for cutting, on the right. If the dessert which has been ordered doesn't need a dessert fork and only needs a dessert spoon, still place the spoon on the right hand side of the setting, as you would if a dessert fork was present. This is because it is easiest for a guest to use the spoon in their right hand. Let's finish off with replacement cutlery. If you don't have a dessert fork, you can also use a starter fork or a main course fork. Similarly, if you don't have a dessert spoon, a soup spoon will also work. So in this lesson, you've learnt about the appearance and purpose of dessert cutlery, their placement on the setting, and what to do if you don't have either the dessert spoon or fork. Well done on working through the cutlery. If there are any pieces that you are unsure of, be sure to re-watch those lessons until you are completely cutlery confident. Good luck!